It's time! Coming up next, it's a heavyweight collision between Bruce Lee and Stefan Struve. Well, this is about as decorated a kickboxer as has come into this division in some time, DC. And if we get a kickboxing match tonight, he ain't losing. He is a championship-level kickboxer, a guy that can stand in the pocket and trade and kick and punch with anyone. He's constantly throwing things from as close as you can get. He's comfortable throwing leg kicks. He will drive knees into your body. But it's the aggressiveness and the ability and willingness to stand in the pocket and trade that makes him truly, truly special. I think that is what separates kickboxing, the high level yeah. one, from everyone else. He understands distance as well as any striker in this division. Of course, that is a byproduct of a lifetime of repetitions in the kickboxing space. Well, this is exciting here, DC. The founder of Jeet Kune Do, one of the founding fathers, really, of mixed martial arts. Bruce Lee is back in a big spot here tonight. Bruce Lee is what every kid looked to when they thought about doing karate. Bruce Lee is the person that anyone looked at when they said, I want to be a fighter. It was the speed. It was the charisma. It was the approach of Bruce Lee that made him so special. And tonight, he's going to look to show a new generation of fighters exactly how it's supposed to be done. And if you hear the phrase, drillers make killers, right? I mean, that was Bruce Lee in a nutshell. He felt like practice yes. would make yes. perfect. Nobody trained as hard as the great Bruce Lee. Our tale of the tape for this heavyweight fight. Struve is one year his senior. He weighed in at 265 pounds. He will have a 12-inch reach advantage. Now to get a start of the veteran voice of the octagon, Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Eve Loving. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold-out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City, it's time! Five rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a Muay Thai kickboxer, holding a professional record of 33 wins, 13 losses. He stands seven feet tall, weighing in at 265 pounds. Body out of Beaverwick, the Netherlands, Stefan Skyscraper! And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds, fighting out of Los Angeles, California, USA, Bruce the Dragon! Okay, guys, protect yourself at all time, will be my command at all time. If you want to touch love, do it now, I'll be back to you. striker is and this guy is as high level as we've ever seen in the UFC. Oh a huge block there. Lee gets tagged with a kick now. Let's see if he can rally. Well we told you off the top he had the reach advantage and we saw it right there with that punch. Oh hook to the head by Lee. Goes upstairs for an elbow. 
straight right, he misses. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. And he connects with a punch there. We'll see if there's more where that came from. Boxing, boxing, boxing. All right, single collar tie now. Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. Oh, man, his leg kicks are outstanding, and you saw a great example of that just there. And he's, oh! oh! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his equipment hurt very bad. All right, good job by him there to raise the guard and protect his head. He's doing a good job of keeping the guard high, locking his head, making sure he's not taking those damaging strikes. It's a big punch lands over the top. How's he going to follow this one? Oh, that's a good knee to the body there by Lee. Big roundhouse now just misses. And they separate. Well, straight right hand has been a good weapon for him. He misses with it there. And he landed the right hand there. What a body kick. Big powerful punch lands. Now he gets back in range. Big liver kick lands under the elbow. Left hand punch with the clinch. Back to his patented kicks here, but just out of range. That right hand hurt him a little bit. Oh, significant strike attempt there, but a huge block. All right, so a nice straight punch there after he caught the leg. He decides to punch out as opposed to going for any takedown. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. Big knee land. And there comes the separation now. Oh, nice job using his strength there to posture up. We'll see what he can do now. He's going to start looking to land big shots from the top. Both fighters get up now. Ooh, head kick lands. He's hurt. Groove gets hit with a kick here. Let's see how he responds. Oh, really using his reach advantage as he landed the jab there. Well, he's always on the counterattack, but a nice leg kick there by Lee. Single collar tie now. He is all about that left kick to the body. Battle for position here. And he lands a kick to the leg now. Pretty good work on the feet tonight by Lee. Back and forth we go here. Beautifully timed and placed kick there by Lee. Well, he's doing a nice job here blocking these shots. The chin is tucked, the hands are high. Pretty good job defensively thus far. Great job defensively. He's seeing everything coming. He gets to a spot, the tie punch. Then he starts to let the knees fly. Oh, and he connects there. Pretty nice punch there. Great job finding the range to land those punches. Right on the button. Ten seconds to go. Big kick. Round two next. All right, so there's the end of the round. He stayed committed to doing damage upstairs and landed a seminal blow in that round. It was accumulation of those strikes. He kept hitting him over and over to the head. Eventually, he found the, the one that really did damage his opponent.
another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection, and these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. Offensive fight, nice job to block the shot there. And they separate. Beautiful hit kick. Struz lower jaw now starting to show signs of swelling. Lands the right hand. Oh, he did a great job of rotating him into an underhook. Just misses with the left hook. Big kick land. And they separate. Right punches there. Punch a single collar tie. Right hand punch the clinch. All right, so he's landed some good shots. You hate to be overly critical, but nothing really in terms of combinations tonight. Well, the jab has been looking straight. How about jab, jab, right hand? Right. Because eventually you're going to have to put something on your opponent that's going to really make him pause. I believe the jab has been working so well, if he drops a big right hand after it, he may be able to finish his fight. Well, he's got the longer reach, and he certainly showed it there in landing that straight punch. Big punch in the clinch. Oh, stuffs the takedown without issue. Nice punch lands over the top. Drew gets caught by the elbow there. Now he's got the Muay Thai plot. Oh, nice. Massive knee lands from the side clinch. Goes back to that left kick once again. Well placed kick there by Lee. All right, he engages in the single collar tie. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Lee going for the head kick. He misses there. Oh, yes, it is a lost start in mixed martial arts. Not just the jab, but the double jab. It's a beautiful double jab. That thing's throwing right from the chin, too. Oh, great head movement there. Slips his head off the center line, and defensively, that's exactly what you're looking for. It's almost like he can telegraph when the punch is coming, and when he sees it, he just makes a slight little movement, right or left, down and avoid those shots. Oh, and he lands another strike to the body. Not a ton of real estate there, but he certainly found it. Lee gets caught with that punch. Not the easiest guy in the world to hit, but he got caught there. Oh, nice job there to land the knee strike to the body, again making great use of his length in this matchup. Unable to connect with the right. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Hardy right, engages in a single collar tie here. It's true moves forward with a nice kick. And here he is back in familiar territory in the clinch. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. A little single collar tie there. And they separate. All right, so a nice job there defensively to raise the guard and prevent any damage. Those hands never leave where they're supposed to be. And if you do that, oh! What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish his fight. And both guys really throwing with authority. Oh, man, he's a hard. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Well, his corner was pretty urgent after round one. A little bit lackluster there in that opening round. He has certainly picked up the pace here. And as a result, he has taken control of this second round. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Beautiful body kick. Nicely done to the body. Over and over, he's landed a big body kick. 
get back out here and work on that. Deep breath and relax. There's a lot of blood. Cut to open gun. All right, that horn signifies the end of the round. Let's take us through some replays, champ. And the replays are going to be kicks. That's the story of this fight to this point. He is landing these kicks at will, just driving his shin into his opponent's legs, and it's really starting to slow him down. All right, here we go. As our next round gets underway, his strong leg packs so much power that even when he doesn't throw it full throttle, you see he's able to inflict damage. We'll see if he can keep it going here in this He round. doesn't throw it full power, but even when he faints it, he draws out reactions from his opponents because they don't want to get hit with any more of those kicks. It's a sight to behold. Well, not only has he stayed aggressive as he was in the previous round, landing a high volume of strikes, but he's also been efficient, not just with his strikes, but also with his body movement. Complete performance out of this fighter here tonight. Oh, and he lands another knee there, DC. It doesn't always pay to be the taller fighter. In this instance, it most certainly did. He has a commitment to kicking tonight, and it shows. You don't know when that leg kick's coming. Punch over the top. All right, he closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. When you're in a clinch, you can pull down on the head and land a beautiful punch to the head. He lands the head kick. Oh, single collar tie here. He gets the elbow up into the target. Visibly limping here. All right, single collar tie now. This is his game. He likes to control his opponent's posture with that collar tie and land those nice elbows around the guard. All right, so once again, they will clinch, and we will see which fighter is able to advance their position from here. Who's going to be the first one to attempt the takedown? Both of our combatants have the ability to score and secure the position. Who's going to be the one that makes the first move? Stuffs the takedown, no problem. Just over three minutes to go now. Oh! Dude's hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Oh, he might be out. He ate that kick. He took that whole kick, yep. Oh, he's landed a high number of total strikes here in the ladder. Oh! He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Lee goes for the clinch here, and this is just a means by which to recover. He is stunned. He went high on that one. Jockey in for position here on the clinch. Both fighters trying to get a more dominant position. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. He can't even, he can barely stand. Lands with the kick there, no pat on that foot. No shit guard, he's taking all of that kick every time he throws. Well, he has got to be thrilled with this effort here tonight. There was a lot of pressure on him coming in. He has doled out a lot of damage, landed a lot of strikes, near flawless execution. Sometimes the hardest thing is what's expected. When you're expected to win, sometimes it's hard to live up to that expectation. He lived up to the expectation, and he exceeded it with such a great performance. Nice leg kick. Big punch lands through the middle. Liver kick, if you take those kicks, it's going to shut your body off. Oh, so the taller fighter lands a flush knee. Oh, that kick is good by Strew. Single collar tie now. Lee's kick attempt there blocked. He lands a big knee to the body. Drew gets caught with that punch. Nice job of hiding that head kick. Oh, nice knee to the body. Just what he needed there. Big knee there to the chest. Continues to land a high number of strikes in this round. Really hasn't let up when it comes to his aggressiveness. Certainly have to be mindful that you don't gas out, but you got to like the output on display here. Big head kick land. All right, 
so both fighters now sort of struggling for position here in the clinch. When you find yourself in this situation, what do you do to get out of it? Anytime it's very tough, anytime you're chest to chest and you have nowhere to go, I think to myself, underhook. Whoever's winning the underhook is winning the clinch battle. Look at the whip action that comes from him for the next clip. Lands a good series of kicks there, DC. It really didn't take him long to get a good beat on his opponent. He figured the timing, and now he's been driving kick after kick into his opponent. All right, let's now look back at some of the action from that round. He went head hunting, landed, nearly got the finish, too. A lot of coaches tell you don't head hunt. In this case, he's been head hunting, and he landed a big enough shot to truly put his opponent on notice. Proposition for the opponent. As Drew comes forward with a big knee to the midsection. Drew gets caught by that straight punch. That'll get his attention. Oh, nice. Oh, nice combination there by the skyscraper, Stefan Drew. Landed that knee to the midsection. Got to think his opponent's going to feel that one in the morning. And he's going to continue to throw that strike because he knows that his opponent can't take many of them. Got the single collar tie. All right, so he lands another punch there, and he smells blood in the water going right back at that cup. Absolutely. The opponent has a lot of scar tissue around the eyes. He was able to cut it open, and now he's just touching it over and over again. Oh, collar tie. Oh, man. I think you jumped out of your seat a little bit after that kick. Oh, I did because I have time grabbing a kick like that. And I'll tell you one thing. It does not feel good. Struve's lower jaw very swollen now. Time to bite down on the mouthpiece and move forward. Good punch, man. Uppercut attempt does not get to the target. Nice job defensively there by Struve. He's got a serious right punch, and he went to it effectively there. It is his money shot, and he will continue to throw it until he finds a knockout. It's a beautiful fast foot jab with beating. Another clinch position. Watch for the tricky trips that he uses when he's in close. What a punch. He is at his kickboxing best tonight. Another nice, good series of kicks by him there. I mean, the kicks are coming. Oh! What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. Oh! Some real power shots here. Back to the feet. Oh, he might be out. Both of these gentlemen are putting it on the line. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Back and forth we go. Liver kick. Lee's knee strike here is blocked. As he gets close. Well, he's up, but he is hurting for certain. The finish could come at any time. Nice head kick. It's the elbow there. Well, he continues to offer up the kick here, but just misses with that one. Man, look at the redness now, almost immediately on the right side of his body.
stuffs that takedown attempt without issue. One minute now to go in round four of a possible five. Ooh, big shot lands. Came of inches right there, boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. Oh, and he tags him with the straight, beautifully placed there by Stroop. He looks like Pac-Man. He's taking so many strikes to the head. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Oh! Big elbow! Whoa! Use him. Serve him up. Go get him. The skyscraper trying to finish. It's a hell of a kick right there. He told us Thursday that he was going to be kick heavy tonight, and that is certainly a step in the right direction. He is landing that strike very effectively. 20 minutes down, potentially five to go. All right, well, that's the end of the round, so the location is okay, the cut on the cheek, but that is some serious blood trickling out of that cut there. You got to think maybe at some point they call the doctor in, and if he doesn't like what he sees, maybe they stop this fight. All right, so let us now check out some of the action in that round, DC. There was a whole lot of it, including a stunner upstairs that nearly closed the show. It was a lot of action. It was back and forth action, but the big moment was that big strike to the head that landed, that put him on wobbly legs, and then survival mode. Luckily, he made it to the end of that round. You ready? Fifth and final round, fourth cover. Big body kick. Oh, and he connects with a punch there, DC. You gotta like what you're seeing thus far. I mean, the speed at which he throws is crazy. He blocks the punch. Look at him yank the head and land that beautiful punch from the clinch. Oh, pinpoint knee to the body. If you're trying to knock me out, you one knee to the body. Wow! He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Well, he's up, but he is hurting for certain. The finish could come at any time. Lee gets caught with that punch. His chin is held up thus far. Gotta shore up the defense here, though. All right, he engages in the single collar tie. Beautiful kick. Barely missed on an upset right here on the inside. Big knee lands right through the opponent's midsection. Oh, he lands another punch there. He's got the reach advantage. Might as well use it, champ. Ooh-wee! Ooh-wee, what a right hand by this young man. He's just being more aggressive, and because he's being more aggressive and more loose with his strikes, he's landed. Well, defense doesn't necessarily win championships in MMA, but he's doing a nice job blocking these shots. He's not allowing his opponent. Oh, late defense on the takedown and scrambles to his feet. Nicely done. Four and take down. Lee gets caught with that punch. Struve's all sorts of bruised up on his body. Oh! Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go take that finish down now. He's got that right hand going tonight, DC. Connected with it there. He's thrown so many left jabs to throw that right punch straight down the pipe. It's unreal. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. Watch knees to the body. Nice punch lands over the top. Look at him working at trying to shut the liver down. Oh, he hurt Good head movement there. Nice slip. Timely defense there. Huge block for him. Caught that. No, there's danger in that too because when they start reaching on to catch that kick, here comes the high kick. And then you're in a lot of trouble. All right, some really grueling work here in the clinch. Straight punch land. Sure, if that's the way he drew it up, but a huge result for him here tonight as he gets the win by way of knockout. And 
That's about as good a one-strike finish as we've seen here in the UFC in recent memory. I'm not even sure the opponent saw it coming, so a big, big win for him here tonight. And there he is after a massive knockout here tonight. Near-perfect execution and a seminal moment for him here in the Octagon tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Levine has called a stop to this contest. At two minutes, 56 seconds of round number five, declaring the winner by knockout, Stefan Well, we congratulate him on a huge knockout here tonight. He'll probably keep that smile while he's sleeping tonight after what he was able to produce here. He's going to be smiling for a really long time. When you get a knockout like that, not only do you get the win, you also most times walk away with a...